Now finally in this part we will learn about adding the textures and details and will also create the exploded view of this assembly. So now let's get started. So now let's add finer details and colors and textures in this complete assembly. Now before we do that there is one more detail that I want to add here in this connecting rod and that's the brand logo. Now you can add an embossed brand logo and also the part specifications right here. In this case I'll leave the part specifications but if you want to you can use the same method to add it. So I'll simply emboss the brand logo and to do that I'll just select this part. Now this happens to be the bottom half when I'm selecting it as you can see this is highlighting so I'll simply select it right click and I'll go to edit part though you can also select open part and that's just going to open it in a new window which I don't want so I'll keep it in context so I'll just select edit part all right now let's click on this make normal tool and here we'll add the text so let's go to sketch and right here we have the text tool select it and then select this plane all right now type the text so here I'll type source CAD all right and specify the location which is somewhere around here so click and that's added now the text is very tiny so I'll make it big to do that I'll uncheck this option use document font click on this font option and make it larger maybe five unit or six unit so six tab key click OK all right now this is better so I'll just place it once again simply by eyeballing it properly maybe somewhere around here it should be good right here all right now this looks perfect so with that I'll click OK and we have the text and we can actually extrude this text as well. So before we move any further I want to give you this free 2D and 3D practice drawing ebook. Now if you want to practice with 2D drawings like all of these drawings or maybe even 3D drawings like these drawings then you can just follow the link in the description of this video and download this entirely free PDF ebook. Now to download the ebook simply go to the link and it will take you to this page. Simply click here, download now and that's going to just give you a pop-up where you need to add your name, email, add it, click download and you'll have the link of this free PDF ebook. This ebook has 60 practice drawings and this book keeps on updating regularly and when updated you can always go to the same link here and then download this ebook. Once again the link is in the description. Now back to the video. So let's just select this text using this kind of window. Only the text is selected. With that I'll go to feature and I'll select extruded boss base feature. All right and this is extruding it to a height of 1 mm and that's the kind of height which I want. So if it is more or less change that to 1 mm and click OK. And we have this embossed logo added. Now also we can just make it finer simply by adding a few fillets so let's do that. So go to fillet and first I'll change the radius so it is 0.1 maybe I'll just make it 0.2 and press the tab key and now to select the edges well I'll simply zoom in and instead of selecting edges I'll select the plane like so and it will just select all the attached edges. So select the planes right on top like this and it will automatically select the edges. And when making the selection, make sure that you're not accidentally clicking on edges like this, just the plane. All right, there we are, we are done. So click OK and we have got this embossed logo added. Now exit out of this part and now we are ready to add the materials here. Now to add the material feature, I will go to these parts one by one and I'll start with this bottom half rod. So I'll select it and once again I'll go to edit part. Now we are making changes in this bottom half rod so go to this material option and usually the connecting rod is made with steel so I'll just select the steel option right here. Now the steel that we need is sandblasted steel because that's the kind of texture which you will find on connecting rod so just select it and drag it and drop it here and then select this entire body. Alright done. There is however one detail that you should not miss and that's this thing here. So these things, these faces here are extremely smooth because they are machined out. So we just need to add the completely smooth face here and to do that I'll select steel. So once again I'll select steel but in this case I'll select polished steel. So select it 
and drag it and drop it on this face and I'll only select the face option just like this. Now instead of selecting it one by one I'll simply select all the faces using control key so I'll select this this face and this face so these are only the machine faces which I'm selecting here and then I'll orbit it to this side then select this face this face and this face and remember I've got my control key still pressed and then we also have well this face and this face though we can ignore these faces because well these are the machine faces which will be machined later but this can be sandblasted as well so I'll just leave it and now I'll add it on this side so here we have this face, this, this, and this one. And then finally this side. Control select this, this, and carefully this one. Now, once again, go to the appearance, right click on this polished steel, and select this first option, add appearance to selections. All right, and we are done. So it will only apply this appearance to our selected regions and nowhere else. So it is done. Everything is sandblasted except for our selected regions. Now exit out of this part and repeat the steps for this one. So I'll go to the stop half, edit part, and I'll just lock it to make the edits. Now this locking may not be required for you. Now once again, the same set of steps. So go to this and here send blasted steel, drag it and drop it to the entire body. And now select some faces. So this face and then control select this face, this and this one and just orbit this and select the similar faces here. All right, once again, go to the appearance, polish to steel, add appearance to selection, and we are done. Now that it is done, we can exit out of this and we have it added for this part. Now we need to add the bushing. Now the bushing is made with bronze. So bushing as well as the bearing shell, it's made with bronze, so we'll add that material here. So I'll now go to the bearing shell first and edit this part. Go to the appearance and in the metal section, select bronze and you can select brushed bronze because that's the kind of appearance we want. This is also made with machining. So it will have this kind of appearance though you can add polished as well if you want, but definitely it's not polished. So brushed bronze, select it, drag it and drop it and just add it here. Done. Exit out of this and it will apply it on both of these because it's just identical part. It's been used twice. So if you apply it here, it's going to apply it here as well. Now the bushing and for bushing also we'll use the same thing. So just go to the part, edit this, go to the appearance, brushed bronze, drag it and drop it and select the body. Now exit out of this. All right, it's added. All right. Now, when it comes to the material of connecting rod, bolts and nuts, they are generally made with stainless steel, brass, bronze, copper and sometimes aluminum as well. So in this case, let's just use aluminum as the material for this. So I'll now go to the bolt and edit part. And once again here, select aluminum right here and I'll select the brushed aluminum. So here I'll just select it, drag it and drop it right about here. And I'll select the body. There it is. It is applied. Now exit out of this and similarly select the nut and edit part and we'll repeat the process for this nut. So right here we have the brushed aluminum. Just drag it and drop it on the entire body and exit out of this. And we are done. So we have got this thing added and all the textures and everything is added on every single part. Now before we do anything, let's save it. So I'll click on save to save this entire assembly with all these changes. Now that we have created the assembly, let's create an exploded view of this assembly as well. And we will just animate the way this can be disassembled. So here to create the exploded view, I'll go to this assembly command manager and select the exploded view. All right. Now we have added step two options here, the regular and the radial. Well, I'll select the regular and I'll start with this nut right here. And also I'll select the second nut, which is right here. All right, with both of these selected, just move it out. That's the first component I'm going to move out. All right, click on done right here. Now select this part right here and move it out as well. Click on done and then select the bearing shell and move it out as well and done. All right, that's removed. Now it's time to remove the bolts. So select both of these bolts 
and move it all the way here. All right, click on done. And now I will remove this bushing. So select it and I'll just move it up. All right, click on done. And then I'll select the main rod here and move it all the way back. Maybe like this and done. That's it. So these are all the steps and we have it completely disassembled. Now, once you are done with this, click OK and we have the assembly here, the exploded view of this assembly. Now, once again, if you want to just animate this assembly, you can simply do that by right clicking on this top level and selecting this option, animate collapse. Also, you can go to configuration manager and right here you have the exploded view. So here also you can right click and select animate collapse. So here it is. This is how it's just going to collapse. And done. So that's the exploded view.